Good morning and welcome to East Texas. Today I want to talk to you about a uh, do-it-yourself hog raccoon proof feeder that I got going on here. Uh, this particular feeder is suspended from a chain between two trees, as you can see. Uh, it's worked well for the last several years. Uh, the hogs can't get to it. The deer they have to stand on their hind legs to get to it. Haven't had any problem with the deer. And the raccoons can't get to it, which is a big deal. There's a lot of raccoons and they're always trying to tear up my feeders. But uh, this one has been good for me. And what I'll do is I'll show you basically a little closer view of the, take the chain across from two trees Got on an extension ladder, or you can stand in the bucket of a front end loader, attach it to the two trees, and then in the middle, you hang the feeder. I'll show you how I got these eye bolts attached and that lid attached. This feeder also has the uh, solar panel through the side of the barrel, as you can see here, so that it's waterproof with a silicone and so far i haven't had any problems with it knock on wood but uh i'll give you another a view of the uh inside of how i've got it up there attached okay so i can back up underneath this feeder with my pickup stand on the toolbox fill it real easy you could probably do the same thing if you had utv uh something like that and then this is how the chains come down three places, you know, you measure around so that they're evenly spaced. This lid is held down with springs. So you just unhook the spring. There's two of them. And then the lid just comes off like this. That way it keeps the wind from Now, here's the thing. On the inside of the barrel, you run the eye bolts through, as you can see. And I took a little piece of two by four and ran it down to keep it from bending the barrel. All right. Um, and like I said, I've had a, I've made a couple feeders like this and I've never had any problem with those eye bolts pulling out. Get you a good size washer on there and hopefully it'll work for you. Like I say, coons are a constant problem and uh, pigs are as well when you, when they, have a feeder on legs and they'll just sit there and bang on it push it over but uh i don't know this might even work for you if you have bears in your area uh i'm not sure how don't have any bears around here so but it may work to keep bears out of your feeder as well because i don't think a bear would be able to climb across there you just have to hang it up to high enough to where they can't get in there or stand on their hind legs and tear up your mechanism. But hopefully this works for y'all. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.